Welcome back. We've already covered what SDSU did with its early signing period. Now it's time to shift the spotlight to USD. The Coyotes signed a total of 16 student athletes today, with 13 of those being scholarship guys. I think we've got a number of guys that have the ability to be future leaders in our program, uh, uh, guys that have been a part of successful programs. Um, you know, I, I think uh, the two things you look for is um, you know, number one, their, their ability to, to come in and, and hit the ground running in your program. Um, and I think we've got guys in that group that uh, can play early on because that's still going to be something that we need out of this class. That kind of high caliber, immediate impact athlete is something Nielsen and his staff have been able to attract ever since they arrived in Vermilion. But that task was a little easier this time around. I, I think the, the success that we had uh, definitely helped us. Um, you know, young men are looking at a variety of things and, uh, you know, they're looking at educational opportunities, they're looking at uh, uh, certainly people uh, that are involved with the program, they're looking at facilities, but also they're looking at the direction uh, that the program is headed and, uh, you know, very few guys don't want to be a part of, of programs that have a chance to, to play at a national level and and uh, the success that we had this year and being a playoff team uh, resonates uh, with a lot of the, the people that we're working with. All right, so let's dig a little bit deeper into this new crop of coyotes and Jay Elson joins me. He was in Vermilion all morning covering signing day. But Jay, looking at last year, USD was really looking for size, the offensive line, the defensive line, but this year a little different. What was their top priority? Well, first off, I think the overall pr approach has changed a little bit. With their first couple of recruiting classes, Nielsen and his staff a little bit more focused on adding overall depth, and that was particularly evident in the way that 2017 group came together. But they felt like they had to get a bunch more bodies to help the trench, help in the trenches rather on both sides, and they they did that to the tune of 13 offensive and defensive linemen. This year, though able to focus a little bit more on some of their specific needs. And as you can tell by this list, Coyotes still feel one of those needs is with the big guys. They brought in four more offensive linemen, three more defensive linemen, Trevor Shahoney, Isaac Erbs, a couple of the big ones on the offensive side. Well, Kansas native Brandon Webb and Missouri's Ethan Burson and Javon Hewn are all nice additions to the defense. And with those guys now in house, I do think they feel pretty good about where they sit up front cornerback linebacker those were priorities going into the early period and they will continue to be usd added a total of three players between those positions today but i would definitely expect them to add more at both spots mm -hmm. come february well were there any i mean we talked about size last year and now they're adding kind of a variety pack of athletes but were there any specific attributes that they keyed on for today well speed for one but yes. what football <laughs> coach doesn't want more speed right i mean that's just a fact of the matter usd does want to get quicker across the board particularly in the secondary, but they're, I think they're going to have to address that a little bit more later on. Offensively, always looking for guys that they can plug into Nielsen's fast-paced system, and a couple of the skill guys they did sign today definitely fit that bill. Kanan Cox is a running back uh, out of Remsen, Iowa. He ran a 4-4 at their team camp last summer, so he's pretty. he's got the potential anyway to be a pretty dynamic player in the open field. And Marquise Majors, the wide receiver from O'Fallon, Missouri, another guy that has all the tools to be a big-time playmaker for that offense over the next four or five years. Uh, he had all kinds of offers, both FCS, FBS. So the Coyotes pretty excited about getting him as well. All right, looking for some quick yotes. Makes sense with the turnaround that Nielsen made from sure. that first year to year two. So, Jay, thanks so much. You bet. Anytime. All right, coming up after the break, more signing day coverage this time from North Dakota. We'll tell you all about the recruits heading to Grand Forks for their collegiate career when we come back.